Hello there. Well, if you are seeing this video, it means that you went into Moxie and you clicked on uh, Moxie Present and then you went to the brokerage presentation. From there, you clicked on Add to My Presentation. But this presentation cannot be edited by you unless you follow the next steps. And I thought it would be easier for me to uh, demonstrate with you in the presentation than um, any other way. So you clicked on to add to my presentation, presentations, uh, which now it moves it over to this tab right here, my presentations. It'll come in and you'll see it. Now, if you don't do the next step, then you cannot edit the presentation. So that's why that's the purpose of this video is to show you how to go in and edit it. So you have the presentation and you're going to go to the three dots, which represents more, and you're going to go down to duplicate. You'll see that there's other options, but you're going to duplicate this presentation. From there, it'll come up and it'll say copy. So now you can take this presentation and you can modify it. So I'm going to go to the pencil and I'm going to go to my pages. Of course, at this point, uh, even before I would go to pages, I would want to go in and do the uh, information about the specific buyer presentation I'm going to do. So here is the agent profile. This profile is here as an example for you. So let me get that to open. So this should be your profile. This is your profile information that is in um, our backend system. If you do not want to use this page because you're going to create a custom intro page, which is ideal, all you have to do is click the pencil to remove it. The next page that opens up is a sample of a custom page. So on this custom page, this is what you can create to really sell yourself to the clients. You can do this in a buyer or uh, seller presentation. All of these links here are clickable. So they can go directly to my Facebook, my real estate website, my client testimonials. They see my information. Moxie does not allow you or allow me to give you this page in an editable version. I shared this with you so that you have it as an example of what you may want to do. The video that is here is a sample of a video I think is done the right way. It is, um, talking a little bit about my history as a real estate professional, about my passion in working with specific types of clients. Um, it talks about what they're going to experience as they go through the presentation. And I wrap it up with my motto. And I let them know they need to communicate with me and I want to communicate with them. So this gives you an example. It's one of the pages. It's called Intro to Buyers. So you'll want to delete my page. And then you're going to go here to Add Page, Create New, Build Page. And then you'll see that there are five layouts. You'll also see that there's various versions. I stuck with the web version. So here is the template that I chose, the four boxes. You can choose whichever one you want. And then you'll see at the top, 
you've got other options, web, print, portrait, and print landscape. But here under the text or image, video, or more, you can go in and create your own page. Text, it truly is a place for you to just type and add in your custom letter to your buyers if that's what you would like. Video must be a YouTube, Vimeo, or daily motion formatted video. Image, you can upload an image. It does not provide us with the standard um, preferred layout, but I believe a 600 by 400 pixel works just fine. And then under more is where you can combine different types of, um, can't remember what they call it, but different types of uh, text, video, image, everything into the one. Once you're done with that, you would go to save, you would name it, and you can enable page editing to users that you share with. This is only an option when you share it from one person to the next. It is not an option that I can do as a brokerage administrator. So that page would then drop in to your presentation. Make sure you delete out my page by simply clicking on the X to have it go away. If by chance it dropped in in a lower position than you wanted, all you need to do is click on the title and drag it into the position you want. If you want to add a PDF page, uh, maybe you have testimonials that you would like to add, or maybe you have a list of attorneys, inspectors, lenders, uh, home improvement providers, whatever you wanna create these custom pages for, feel free to create a way. You can also add those into your library so that they're there for future use. So if I want to go to create new, you see that there is also the option to upload PDF pages. If it's multiple pages, it will split them and I believe it will do up to um, 50 pages in one upload. So hopefully this video has um, taught you a few things on how to use Moxie Engage. If you still need more assistance, please remember you can always go to Circle One-on-One -on -one and schedule a time with the Education Department so that we can help you even more. Have a wonderful day.